Okay, ladies, I'm going to go ahead and start since we already have questions and we're kind of all in that space. And today is about just relaxing. We're trying to ground everything. Remember, we're about to go into Virgo energy. We are actually about to go into Capricorn energy. So very, very grounding stuff. These are the times that things are coming through. And before I start channeling, let me just put on the different screen. <laughs> Sorry. Hi, everyone. Welcome. Thank you so much, ladies, for supporting me. My heart is just open and filled. Um, I know that a lot of you are going through a lot of stuff. A lot of us have been, right? But this is the very grounding energy. This is the very, I mean, I did that uh, full moon, uh, sorry, new moon in Virgo the other day. And I, that's why I said Virgo is bringing that reality check. But so is Pluto with that Capricorn. We are going into very grounding energy we've been sort of adjusting all summer uh it's not over yet we don't even have some of the planets going direct for a minute for a couple of months right but it, it's gonna it's starting to loosen and as it's loosening the way that i'm seeing it is things are becoming reality the things that you guys have chosen the things that you guys have cleared the thing those things right like and again trusting yourself you don't always see it you're not supposed to see it right now, right? Uh, Saturn is teaching us to use our other abilities. Saturn is teaching us about faith in ourselves, right? Saturn is teaching us a lot, but that's like the main thing, okay? So, um, Moreg, again, I am so sorry for your loss. Um, <sighs> yeah, I'm like, I'm not opening it up to mediumship, but <laughs> we're going to do tarot. We're going to do tarot, but I do want to say something. A uh, person from my past came back, says he loves me, just want to know if I should stay away from him or no. Okay, so uh, let me say one thing, Moreg, because you're going to be first anyway. I know this is cliche because you just told us about having to spread your mother's ashes, right? Uh, I don't know why. I'm not really sure. I don't know where this is going. And she kind of, they. I don't even know if it's she. I just know. You know that Outlander song? I, I it keeps repeating in my head. I don't know if there's a connection there, um, but it's like coming full force. So I said I would go ahead and say it. I don't know if this makes sense to you, um, and let me know because I know it sounds cliche, but I keep hearing the song, and I don't ever hear that song. Um, so let me know if that resonates with you. But again, I when I'm doing mediumship i don't judge it i just say what i see or say what i hear or say what i feel <clears throat> so let me know if that resonates with you i'm not sure why that song um i know that you said you'd spread her ashes thank you for that it's a very scottish connection okay so you said island i wasn't sure what island it's just that song came to me and that song is very uh, beautiful and haunting as well. But um, I haven't thought of that song in forever. I don't even watch Outlander anymore. I used to watch it when it first came on, right? Um, but it's like, it's very pronounced. And I almost feel like she's free. I, she's like, I'm getting the feeling that she, she had a sense of humor, but she's free. And it's like, you know, I'm part of this earth now. Um, there's there's a little bit of cursing in there. <laughs> I don't know if you want to hear all this. Um, there's a little bit of cursing like, yeah, there's, I don't even know how to say this. There's like, there's my ashes. Uh, it's almost like goodbye to this world. And uh, I'm in a much better place. Does that make sense to you, Morag? Mm 
And I said I would deliver that message, so they know. Can I ask you another thing, too? Because I don't have ankle issues, but when I start opening up to mediumship, sometimes I'll get an ailment um, during when I'm opening myself. And I'm doing a lot of readings right now, so I'm very open to the other side right now. So um, I had an, I, I had an, a sore ankle this morning, and I'm like, why do I have a sore ankle? I don't have ankle problems, so... I, and then I told my daughter, um, I was like, well, when I open up to mediumship, sometimes they give me, they haven't told me their name and they haven't stepped completely forward, but they'll begin to give me their ailments. So I don't know if there's a connection here with you um, because they know that we're going to see each other. They know that we're going to speak. So if that resonates with anybody, somebody that had an ankle problem, somebody that, and had to be pretty severe because I don't really get I don't have ankle problems like it was like I almost felt like surgery in there and just very sore I don't know if that makes sense to anybody mom had a bad accident with her ankle when she was a teenager yeah like it's sore did she always say like it was sore it just bothered her it would come up when she was going to because the first thought is like is it gonna rain so it's like almost like that kind of thing um was it on her left ankle because that's the ankle that was hurting. My ankle and foot were hurting this morning. And I, for a second, I was like, what, what did I do to myself? And then I remembered, oh, yeah, I'm opened up. So if this is somebody, I'll tell the message, is what I said. And I got the thing that it was like it would come up when it was going to rain or there was bad weather. Yeah, she used to get swelling and sore. I can't remember which side. Okay, then this is her. And I did say that I would acknowledge it. I did say that when I went on next, I would say it. So um, that happened this morning. Your mother is around. Your mother is very happy. Your mother was a character like... <laughs> I almost feel like a little saggy energy where it's like... Uh, if whatever she were to say, she didn't really mean it, mean it. You know, like, I almost feel like, fuck you, world kiss my ass I'm out of here <laughs> you know kind of like that but she didn't mean it she loved the world she loved people does that make sense to you um okay if it makes sense to you then we'll move on I said what I mean I delivered the message like I said it is connected to you she is very happy uh so yeah <gasps> Which witch? Yes, thank you, Cindy. Okay, I'm all right. I just, I want to give you some peace for now, okay? Okay, so, uh, did you have another question with Tarot? I know you've got a lot on your mind. I know you've got a lot of questions. I know, Witch Witch. I want to know how things are going. Um, Morag has lost, she had to bury her mother, to, well, to spread her ashes yesterday so we were talking about that and her mother was coming through her mother came through this morning when i woke up my ankle was hurting <laughs> and it's so weird i was like, at first i was like what is wrong with my ankle and then secondly i was like oh yeah i'll start getting signs <laughs> so i said i will say it um, because sometimes they'll keep giving me that issue until i say it and that could take a week that could take a month whenever the person decides to contact me so Okay, so I'm looking to my job and finances in the next six months. I will tell you that they are going to loosen up. Uh, let me see what the cards say. So, you said I'm looking to my new job. Uh, I'm sorry, you said I'm looking to my job. So, you have a job. Where are you? You've got the four, uh, four of swords. I feel like it's taking too much from you. 
this four of swords is taking too much for you. Your job is taking too much for you. Your finances. You have the two of pentacles. There's some budgeting and stuff that you're going to have to take seriously right now. I'm not sure it's right for me. So, yeah, I don't, I feel like it's taking too much. And I feel like I'm only at a two with the pentacles. And with your finances, they know I want to see pentacles. I don't need to see hearts. I don't need to see cups. I don't need to see all that. I want to see pentacles. And they've given me that. They've given me the sword, too. There's a, this, this, it looks like you're either going to have to balance. So, like, really take your, it's not that you guys don't, wouldn't take your, your budget seriously, but, like, really take it seriously. Like, every penny's going to count. And I don't know that that's the truth, but that is the way that you're, you're seeing it. That is the energy that you're in. So, let me see if you open yourself up to looking for, yeah. Wow, so you have the six of wands as there, because I just asked if there if she opens herself up to a new job with that work. Hey, Sandy, how are you? Um, and I got a six of wands, so I feel like if you begin to open yourself up to a new job, you're gonna get much more reward out of it, and you're actually gonna get seen for the things that you've done and rewarded. Does that make sense? Your attitude right now with your finances. Let's see where you are in three months. You're at a six. See, I'm telling you, they know I want to see pentacles. I don't want to see any BS, right? So I hope that helps. It's going to get better for you. Um, that was a three month that I said, but it can, it's, I already see it starting to flow. Okay. There's just a choice that you have to make. Here's the thing, Morag. I know that you're not in your right alignment because you've just had some losses, right? So I want you to be really, what I was just saying before, be really grounded and truthful with yourself. If this job is taking too much, don't be afraid of getting another one, okay? Be very grounded, okay? All right, who's next? You're welcome, sweetheart. This is very grounding energy. This is where some of our dreams are starting, okay? They're starting. They're getting some... They're coming from the ether. They're coming from the universe. And we're going we're we're starting to see some evidence. Does that make sense? Okay. Now, who's next? Uh okay, so Alyssa said my husband started a new job. If possible, can uh if possible can check with the tarot if his new job will work out. Okay. If they'll let me see, because that's kind of up to your husband's energy, because it's about him. You are connected to him, so your guides, my guides, his guides will be talking, okay? Let's see. Which don't work out. Yeah. It well, you've got the Queen of Swords. Um, so if he puts the work in So I feel like this was a long time coming, and I feel like this is a reward for all the hard work that he's done. Like he's been through it trying to get a job or getting a job or looking for one or maybe it was that he was unjustly laid off or fired or something, right? Or maybe he just quit. Whatever it was, it was like unjust. And I feel like this is justice. I feel like this is a long time coming. I know it's, I feel like this has been really hard for like six months or more, right? So yeah, maybe three, I don't know. Um, but I feel like, yes, this will work out. Mm, yeah. Yeah. 
Um, I feel like it can take some from him uh, because of the Five of Pentacles. So, um, I think this job will help him get his gain his confidence again. And when he starts to falter with his confidence, like, am I doing the right thing? I'm, oh, am I overdoing it? Like, I'm doing too much. They're asking and I'm taking extra shifts, all that stuff. Um, I feel like he needs to remember his boundaries. Okay, does that make sense? Because it, it looks like it will work out for him. Okay. You are so right. He was waiting for six months. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you for joining. Okay. Who was next? Uh, Kathy, by the way, Mom Otto. Kathy, um, did you get my email with uh, the recording of our session? Because you're next. Okay. I'm just wondering, um, we didn't talk about that yesterday too much. Okay. Let's see. Let's look at this person in the past. What is he doing? Catherine, how are you? So, Kathy, Catherine, we, again, we have like six Kathys. Well, actually, we have six Cathys and two Catherines, <laughs> which I'm sure you're all mostly named Catherine, right? But there are two Catherines that go by Catherine. There may be three. I'm not sure. <laughs> Yay, I finally caught you midday. Yes. So it's going to get really hot for the next couple of days here where I'm at. And it's like the last hurrah before we go into fall because it's been cold. And so I was like, oh, I don't want to wait till late night. Because I need to do an early morning. So I was like, let me get, let me do this now before it starts to get hot. Because we have, I, I mean, we've got air conditioner now, but I don't, y'all are going to hear it. It's just not, it's just not going to be right. I don't like it that way. So instead of turning the AC on, we are going to do this in the morning, which we needed to anyway. I needed to do a morning time one. Okay. So who is this guy? Why did he come? Catherine, you need to meet the other Cathy's and Witchwit and Morag and all of them. Sandy. I mean, like, everybody's here and you guys are such wonderful souls. Mm, okay, who's this guy? He means what he says. Kathy. Mom Otto, he means what he says. Um... But let me see what his intentions are. Because uh, I'll tell you this. You got the ten. The ten of cups. So he really does love you. Now it's up to you whether you're going to let him show you. What are his intentions? I'm getting cups all over. But I, I want to see some grounding stuff. Okay, so in his heart, what he's telling you, he means. But a lot of people will say what they mean and not take it any further and take some action, right? So when I'm talking about love reading, I want to see grounding. I want to see it come to earth. I know it's all nice to be fantasizing. Yes, I love you, blah, 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 to me. <laughs> That's why I don't do, I don't do partnerships very, very much anymore because I'm going to like, offend some people but like the the spirit knows my hair self knows i don't want to see all this just la 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 right i need it grounded i want to know what they're gonna do i need you to take some action right so let me see okay i got it so when i'm saying all of that and i'm complaining because they know i'm like yes this is very beautiful yes i understand emotions i understand how men can want women and women can want men i love that right but i want them um, more than just an emotion right 
Um, and so then we got the three of cups, which to me was them telling you, you don't have to be so suspicious. You and me. <laughs> you can smile. There are people who love you. There are people that just want to get to know you that that don't want anything else but your presence. Which I think we talked about that a little bit yesterday, right? So then I made my little speech because I'm reminding them. I, I know all that. I want to know this, right? And so I got the Ace of Wands. So I feel like he's leaving it in your hands, but he is ready to take the action to show you. He's willing to do what it takes right now. And so I think if you go into it with your heart, because you have Pisces, so with your heart open, and you don't have to be suspicious until you have to be suspicious, right? So don't sit, don't sit there and be like, oh, I'm waiting for him to mess it up. No, enjoy yourself. But if you see a red flag, because I don't see any right now, six months. No. I see that y'all go further in six months. Ace of Cups, right? Um, if you see a red flag, then it's time to take some action. But I don't see that. So I think if your heart wants to, you should. He's very young. The age different bothers me. He was my dad's caregiver in the nursing home. Yeah, um, so here's the thing. Just because somebody wants to get to know you doesn't mean that you have to marry them or doesn't mean that you have to have a long relationship with them. But if you don't take this shot, will you be thinking about how you didn't take this shot? And that's what you have to live with, right? Because you have no idea where this is going. And they're not going to tell me exactly where this is going because this is part of your this is part of your growth this is part of your life and this is a way to see have i healed have i understood better am i going to look at my boundaries am i going to enjoy myself for the first time in my life does that make sense very young i mean i can see where very young can be a hindrance but i've also seen it work out so you're welcome okay so who is next Uh, Angel, should I leave my job? Oh, you're calling me Angel. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. It says, hi, Angel. Should I leave my job? Okay. So, is it VG? VG. Let's see. I'll shuffle the cards this way for some reason. BG. VG, if you're nervous, it, can you just take a breath and calm down? Because I'm like, all of a sudden having trouble breathing. Okay. So, should I leave my job? If it's not you, it's somebody in here that's like really nervous. It's okay. You're amongst friends. You are amongst people who know how to open their heart. There's some beautiful souls in here, and I mean that. Hmm. No. So for right now, I don't see that you should leave your job. I think because you've got the three of pentacles and I'm seeing that you just need to work diligently right now. It's almost like you didn't put, you haven't put enough. This is going to sound weird because I never say this, but it's almost like, I feel like you're just getting by at your job, right? But here's the thing. At this time, with the energies around you, 
it's the thing that's going to see you have the four of wands it's the thing that's going to get you more stable right now left my salary job to get into nursing school then withdrew from the institution now i'm at a stand um that's a different one so i don't think that you should leave your job vg uh not at this moment not with this energy right now like maybe in you know a month maybe in a I, I i just feel like that's going to get you to where you want to go right right now it doesn't mean forever it just means right now the way everything's playing out in your life right now is not the time okay i hope that helps um uh, let's see who else hi new to the group hi jennifer welcome to the group thank you for joining um if you've never seen me before i am a psychic medium i didn't even introduce myself my name is cindy i'm at simply cindy i am a psychic medium i have lots of tools in my basket astrology is something that i have passion for and i love but i do astrology tarot uh, right now i'm doing tarot we do tarot on saturdays and we do astrology and mediumship as well on the other lives so thank you for joining you're so welcome vg uh, thank you for joining. There are some beautiful, beautiful souls. All of these souls are old souls. They're old souls. So if you have any questions, they kind of know. A lot of them have been with me for a long time. And they would be so happy to greet you. Okay, Jennifer, let's see. I would love to know if I should sell my business. Okay. Ooh. I'm feeling like it's a yes, but it's a risk. So nice to meet you, too. But let's see what the cards say. Like, it can be done, but there's going to be some budgeting after, okay? Let's see. Yeah. Remember, you guys, how I've been saying we have to have faith in ourselves? I'm getting that Eight of Swords. Hi, Cindy. It says, she said, oh, my God, I had to unsubscribe and subscribe again. I know there's something wrong with my channel. Like, I keep getting every time people subscribe, there's a bug in my channel. It's been there for years, and I've I've already talked to YouTube about it. They said there's nothing. So... It's like every time somebody subscribes to me, two, I get two unsubscribes, right? So, um, I'm getting that you feel bound by whether you should do it or not, which is probably why you're asking the question. But that I have been saying that Saturn is teaching us to have faith in ourselves. I think that you kind of know the answer. Um, and they're not going to let me tell you. Yeah, you should. I'm feeling like you should. Because I said, can we please, can we please tell her? <laughs> so I feel like the Three of Cups will make you happier if you do. And when you do, you go to a different phase in life, which I feel is a lot better. Like, I feel this way. I feel up. So I feel like you don't go down. I feel like you go... I don't know if that makes sense. Here I am. I feel like you go up instead of your wheel going down. Does that make sense? So I feel like it's better. You feel better. It will work out. Let me look at the finance part. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it will work out because you have the eight of pentacles. So that makes sense. I hope that helps. Now, listen, guys, unfortunately, as it gets hotter, I'm going to have to get off. So I will probably not be able to answer everybody's questions. But I did want to, like, I'm going to stay until I can't anymore, okay? Because you guys know I can't be in the heat. 
And I can't be in the sun because I'm allergic to them. <laughs> okay. Okay, good, good. Uh, let's see. Who's next? Hi, question. When will my hardship end? Seems like there's a lot of blockages in my life. Okay. I mean, look, you are so what? You are so welcome, Jennifer. Thank you for coming. Welcome to this group. Look, there's Cindy Carlson. She's another one that's been with me for forever. Cindy, Jennifer's brand new. Which witch? She's been with me forever. Eagle, she's been with me forever. Like, I, we have so many people that are here. <laughs> she said, come on, tough it out. <laughs> You're so funny. Back in the day, I would have toughened it out. I ain't toughing it out. No. Y'all don't understand. <laughs> Toughen it out for me means, uh, exactly. Toughen it out for me means it could attack my organ. It could, like, do some stuff. So we ain't toughing nothing out right now. <laughs> I'm in a good place. I'm getting better. As soon as fall hits, I'm going to start working out again. Um, I uh, intentionally, for the last three years, gained weight to see if I could do it. I did it. I love it. I'm glad. It tells me that I've relaxed my energy. But I love being at a certain weight, at a certain tone, and I love working out, so it's time to do it, right? But I'm waiting for the fall. It's way hotter over here. <laughs> okay, so the hardship. <sighs> I'm like the chip. Well, let's look at one month. Mm -mm. You got some choices to make. So I feel like. So I don't see things as blockages. I just see them as um, you're trying to get through something. I guess it's the same thing. Anyway, I have a king of wands in a month. So I do have somebody that can help you. But I do feel like you have some choices that you're not wanting to look at and make. Does that make sense? Yeah, awesome. So I feel like there is an opportunity in a month. But here's the thing. I feel like there's some choices you really need to make. Yeah, I'm explaining. So there are some things that maybe. So here's the thing I tell everybody. The one thing that you don't want to do is the thing that you must do. Like the one thing that you don't think is a big deal in your life is probably the thing that you're needing to look at right and so one i don't know whether your life cycle is right like that right now but i'm not saying that you not making choices is the whole reason i'm saying that's what i'm feeling as part of the reason is that there are some things that you're maybe needing to do yeah that that yeah that you're not doing that you're it's like a choice that you have to make yes that's true i have to get focused okay so that's what so i'm seeing and get back to on track okay but here's the thing and don't like think yourself as bad or anything this is just some clarity right i'm seeing an opportunity come in within a month okay now I'm seeing one month. That could mean one day sometimes because we saw with Alejandra, I kept seeing three and I said three months and it or three weeks and it it turned out into three days, right? So sometimes my timing is a little off because I can see all the way out, all the way out. Like sometimes one day can be one. I mean, sometimes one year could be one day, right? It just kind of depends on your energy and how I'm seeing it. But I'm seeing within a month. That can change. These are just cards. This is just a timeline that I see that's highlighted on your path. Okay. That can always change with every choice. You could decide after seeing this today, I'm going to get on track and you begin to make choices. And all of a sudden it just fucking flies in. Right. That, that one month doesn't have to stay is what I'm saying. That's the beauty of us creating. That's the beauty of life. The card, this tarot, it's just a help. It's just a guide. Does that make sense to everybody? Does that make sense to you? Hopefully it's a job that I'm trying to get certified for. I mean, look. Yeah. 
and it's something that you're really going to like because I've got the Ten of Cups with that. This this is a person that always has abundance, and when they don't, they will get it. They're like, it's okay if all my money's gone. I'm just going to go get some more. That's how, <laughs> that's the king, that's the king of wands. It's like, I'll just get more. I'll just go do this and get more. Like, it's a, it's never a lack for them. Even though they may have zero in their account today, tomorrow they could have a million. Okay? That's exactly my energy. Okay, then it's just time to get right back on track, like you said. Right? So, I hope that helps. Yeah. He's, he or she said, that's exactly my energy. I have no money unemployed. Wow. Yeah. Thank you. You're so welcome. Exactly. Okay. So let me get which witch, Cindy Carl's. I need to get Eagle. Where's Eagle? Because Eagle will be really quiet. And she'll just let everybody go ahead. <laughs> and I really want to get her. Thank you, Cindy. I'm trying to stay positive. Stay in this group. You'll stay positive. We all help each other in this energy. All of us. We will we will all help you through this if you will allow us. That is what this group is about. We all need help. We all are not going to do this alone. Okay? So, get to know these ladies. There are some men in the background that never say anything. And that's okay. They will one day. We had somebody the other night that finally did. <laughs> Just want you to know that I feel you guys back there. Yes. How do I reset my energy? Focus. So the way I tell people to reset their energy, the verse, I'm going to subscribe. Thank you. So the first way to do it, the first thing I always say is begin with the simple things that you can appreciate in your now. So for me, like I have this heart meditation that I do with every, I haven't done it in a while with you guys, but this heart meditation that I do, and I know that sounds maybe too up in the air, but I'm telling you, when you understand and are grateful for the heartbeat, for the way that your heart has beat from the birth of your life. And that's kind of what this meditation is, but that gives you an idea of like, what do you have now that you can be grateful for? And it's just that one step. And then think of another, and then think of another, okay? That should help. Look around you, there's beauty around you. There's horrible things around you if you look. There's beautiful, el elated things around you if you look. That's the whole point of being here on Earth. What are we going to focus on? Okay. Yes, me too, Cindy. Uh, Eagle says, I'm thinking about this guy. Already asked you two weeks ago, wondering what's possible. Perfect. Yes. There was a lot of times where that was... The, the same for me, Battle of the Twins. My daughter. Yeah. There was time, before my grandbaby came, there was times where all I could do was think of my daughter, and that would get me through, right? Oh, that would be another great meditation. I love Cindy's meditation. Thank you, Catherine. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'll do the heart meditation uh, soon. Y'all keep reminding me, okay? Okay, let's let's see, Eagle. What's going on with this guy? So has he not taken the shot? Has he backed away? Well, don't tell me. I'm just asking. <laughs> I'm just getting in your energy. You know me already. Okay, Eagle. Now, I know you. And so I am going to say the question a little bit different. Okay. Uh, Battle of the Twins, how does one pay for a reading with you? Cindy or Eagle or anybody here that knows, or which witch, whoever, can y'all write my email, yourpath at gmail, I'm oh, sorry, I said it wrong, yourpathgemini, I just read Gemini, yourpath39, yeah, yourpath39 at gmail, that's so funny, um, and just email me and we can set something up. I'll send you my services and all of that. So, um, if somebody could write that down. <laughs> I'm a Gemini. <laughs> Maybe what <I> <laughs> uh, Oh, 
you Gemini's? And so I'm a Gemini son. We're it's all going to start releasing. Don't worry. It's going to start releasing. That I can tell you for sure. When you told me you're Gemini, I'm like, oh yeah, that. Um, we've just got some things to do in these next two months, but it's going to start. Okay. You're driving. That's okay, Witch Witch. There's like a whole bunch of people here. Okay. Let's look at Eagle. So Eagle, what I was saying is I'm going to change the question if you don't mind. It's the same question. I'm just going to say it in a different way. Okay. Because I want grounding stuff for you. I, I, I don't want, because you said possibilities. I don't want like the, and please, all of you that don't know me, just know that I know her. <laughs> we have worked together for years. So I wouldn't do this with many people, but I, I know that she needs it in a different way because um, she is very good very good about like pulling that stuff in so i just want her to stay grounded which is something we've been working with okay so i want to know the most possibility that's very grounding and healing for her that's what i want to know in alignment with what she wants okay that's how i'm asking the question okay So I have the eight of wands, which means it will progress forward. It's probably not in your time. Like you're saying two weeks, but I'm like, he may take a minute. But when it goes, it's going to go fast, right? That's what I thought, Gemini. Yeah. Uh, it's so funny, Eagle, because he's very like, calm and you're wanting to go fast right and he's already made like his choice about it so he doesn't think there's a rush but eagle i feel like you've attracted this before with a guy or is it this guy that i'm feeling again because i feel so you got you got the eight of swords right so i feel like this is when it goes it's going to go fast but you also have the judgment, which I feel is like his energy. It's very like calm. And usually so are you. But I feel like I feel like you you have grown a lot, but I feel like that habit of, oh, am I gonna miss something is kind of in the background, right? Does that make sense, Eagle? What is he gonna do? Yeah, I feel like he's gonna make it happen. Okay. She says yes. Okay. I feel like he's going to make it happen. Can we have a timeline to give her some? One. Two. So I see two months. The first month you got. So he's going to show you some interest. It's almost like he made his choice. But he wants to make sure that he's making the right choice. So he wants to see. Because he knows as much as he could just automatically begin going with you or begin making this happen um he knows from past experience that you got to let people play it out you got to let people see yeah i, I want to see how she really is right i want to see how we really work like i kind of want to see that right does that make sense but it it's an ace of pentacles so this one's going to be here for a while so don't rush it but I feel like two months. I feel like this right here, there's something that you show him, that you do, that makes him make the decision, and then by month two. Does that make sense? It's so great for you to be giddy. I love that you're giddy. I don't know if you know that word, um, where you're just excited like a child about this, right? I love that you have an open heart like that. But I'm mama bear to you. <laughs> sure. I'm mama bear to you and I just want to make sure I want to make sure that I don't want you hurt right and, and I do feel like he's a good person I do feel like he's a good soul for you so <laughs> boy yes I'm excited yeah he's a good one he's a good one and it is gonna go but it needs to go slow remember what you're building this is a pinnacle this isn't fast right 
it's going to go a little fast in the beginning, but it's going to calm down because he's going to sort of make the tempo for it for you guys. And I think that's kind of the best thing because he's the more responsible in making the tempo. <laughs> so, okay. So I hope that helps. All right. 211 here. I was born in 311. That's awesome. Um, okay. So I haven't been reading what y'all were saying. Uh, but I want to make sure and get. So we got Mom Auto. I already did. Cindy Carlson. I need to do. Um, which Witch I need to do first. Um, and who else? Am I missing anybody? Mark Hill. Okay, but make let me make sure I'm not missing anybody because a lot of you will be too kind and just not say anything. So I'm just trying to make sure I got everybody. And then I'm going to go. Okay. Make sure I'm not missing. Oh, Country Rose. So let me do Witch Witch, then Country Rose, then Cindy Carlson. Okay. So... May I please be added to the list? Okay, so Country Rose, I need your question. 1993, you're the age of my daughter. <laughs> uh, okay, so. You guys know what the order is, right? Okay, because I don't have... Okay, that's us. Yeah. Eagle said, thank you for the reading. Of course, my love. I love you dearly. You and Rebecca are like my babies. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, Virgo girl, I am not going to be adding any more. I just called out the last that I was going to be doing. Um, I will be on it another time. I do this every Saturday, not at the same time, but I'm going to have to get off soon. Um, I can sit here for hours and do this, but unfortunately, I am allergic to the sun and the heat, and it's starting to get hot here, and I don't want to turn on the AC while I'm doing a live. So, I gotta go get cooled down. And this also shows you guys, I'm important just as much as my work is important, right? I'm going to take care of myself just as much as I try and take care of you guys, right? Okay, so... 1993. Hey, Cindy, my question is, is there anyone thinking of me? Okay, you're going to need to be a little bit more specific, Country Rose, because there are people thinking of you. Like your mother, like your father, like your cousin, like your uncles, like your grandmother. Like, what do you mean, right? I need to know, Are is this romantic? Is this a friend? You don't have to tell me who they are, but I need to, like, narrow it down, right? Yes, I emailed you. Thank you again. You are so welcome. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you for joining this group. They're beautiful. And I'm talking beautiful souls. And I've worked with a lot of them. So they are, when I tell you, they are warriors. They have been through the ringer. Warriors. There's a lot of wisdom in here. So even in the future, if you guys don't get to talk to me, talk to them. I'm telling you. Okay, is there someone thinking about you? Absolutely, you found your tribe. Welcome. We've been waiting for you. Where you been? <laughs> Off doing your little Gemini thing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Romantically, is someone thinking about her? No. No, they're not. Country Rose, I'm sorry. This is the epitome of I'm focused on real life and what I need to do and not on love. Like, that's the King of Pentacles, right? I was married to a Capricorn for 20 years till he passed, right? Till he crossed over. And they can get very focused, and they need to be left alone, and they need to do their thing, right? Which was perfect for me, because I was like, 
the Gemini and Sagittarius and Aquarius side is like, woo, we get to go do whatever we want while he goes and focuses. <laughs> right? So, but just no. <gasps> yeah i'm sorry he's a king of pentacles he is like focused okay we like to be free free yes exactly gemini's like to be free sagittarius like to be free and aquarius like to be free i have those three in my top three so y'all know i like to be free <laughs> but it can be done because i was married 20 years till he crossed over so it doesn't mean that just because you like to be free you can't have a beautiful marriage right all right, so who's next after Country Rose? Yeah, he is focused, Country Rose. Which is a good thing. You just got to capture his attention when it's time. But you do have to leave him alone. Okay, you're so welcome. All right, uh, Witch Witch, right? Witch Witch and then Cindy. And then Markeel about the esthetician, right? Uh. throughout our marriage yeah right throughout our marriage he people would ask him like because he was a leader right and so people his his group would ask him like how did you stay married to you know because or people that knew me grew up with me they're like how did you get her like how did you get her to stay and he's like i just She's got a ball and chain, but it's a very, very long chain. She doesn't even know it. <laughs> That's what he used to say. <laughs> and it was true. <sighs> okay, a general. Which which one's a general overall? Right? Okay, let's see. Where's she at now? Did you have somebody coming in, Witch Witch? Because I'm seeing someone. Yeah, communication. What does she need to know? Oh, is this about work? You're, have you started changing that? Because it's going to change. I'm seeing the Knight of Swords. Um... It looks like, did you get a choice to do it? Did you get a, did I miss it? No, we're almost done though. Okay. So it looks like there's a choice for you coming in about, about, well, I mean, we don't need to say, but about what you're thinking about. Um, And it's going to come swiftly. It's going to come fast. It hasn't come yet. That's why I asked you, has it come? You've got the Ace of Swords. So... This has the potential to be something that you really, really like. And then I have, again, the King of Pentacles. So I'm seeing a lot of grounding with this, even though the the, the, the swords are about cutting off, right? The swords are about making decisions. The, the swords are about releasing what you don't need to, like, carry around with you. Not being in the same space that you were with this. If it was a page, I would say it was delayed. This is a night. This is, like, going to come in swiftly, Okay. Oh my God, that's my cards, right? That's what my cards said too. Oh, so Witch Witch says, oh my God, that's what my cards said too. Okay. <laughs> that means it's true. <laughs> Witch Witch, we have been doing this long enough that you know it's true, okay? And then you have this, like it's going to start, okay? Uh, Cindy, this is Rodney. Rodney, this is Cindy, Battle of the Twins. Country Rose, we got Witch Witch, we got a whole bunch of people here that are like I've known for a long time. Some of them are brand new, like you. Uh, Rodney has come over from TikTok because TikTok to me, I'll explain again, uh, is uh, sort of entertainment. It's where I get to like release and be with my, my Gen X group. And so I support a lot of people and I don't do anything on there, I just support. Anyway, Rodney is so kind that he always comes over and he supports me because I support him. So, hi, sweetheart. Oh, you're saying hi, Cindy, to the other Cindy. <laughs> anyway. Uh, okay. So, yeah. Which, which, you got your answer, sweetheart. It's going to start. 
And then it's the King of Pentacles, so it looks like it's going to be very stable, and it looks like true blue, baby, I love you, right? Um, no, it's okay. It's okay. It's funny. Cindy, Cindy and I have known each other for a long time, so... Um, so yeah, which which it looks like you're gonna be able to like finally. Ooh, you must have cleared some stuff because you're. I feel like finally I get grounded, and by grounded I mean like finally I can start building my stuff that I want. Does that makes sense. <laughs> uh, anyway, okay. So I hope that helps. To verify what you already knew. And let's see. Uh, after. So Cindy what's your question? Did you have a question? And Rodney. If you stay I will do Rodney. Because Rodney does support me a lot. So I, I will do after Markel. Is it Markel? Um, then I'll do Rodney. If he, if he has a question. If he'd like me to read for him. You don't have to. Just the fact that you're here and supporting me, that's just beyond. So thank you. Again, thank you so much for your validity. Oh, of course, of course, sweetheart. Yeah, so Cindy, what's your question? Do you have one? I know you got a little, it doesn't have to be serious. I know you got a little question. No question, love supporting. Thank you, Rodney. Okay. Yeah, don't feel, if I ever call you out like that, don't feel like you have to. Well, honestly, I'm getting the feeling that you wouldn't, that wouldn't bother you. <laughs> like, you're like, I can make my own decision. <laughs> yes, it really is him communication with me. Yes, is it really him communicating with, so communicating with you? Not at all. <laughs> I guess I'm just saying, Rodney, that I feel like you're a strong stamp, like you're a strong soul. Like, you wouldn't be swayed either way. You kind of do what you, which, what you intend to do. Which is a lot of what this group is. Um, okay, so... Is it really him communicating? Uh, what do I feel like? So I have the Four of Swords where you're like... Yes. Yes, he is. It's very like grounding. And then you have the Three of Pentacles. So the Four of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. So is this like, yeah. I, I do feel like he's communicating with you. I feel like you're going to get, if, if, if this is someone from the other side, then you're going to get an actual... Like, not just me confirming, but an actual finding of a piece, finding of something, something material. Okay. Does that make sense, Cindy? If it's not from the other side, then... If it's not from the other side, then what I'm seeing is trying to decide, be decisive about it. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm feeling if this, so I feel like you get evidence either way. So if it's somebody here, you're going to receive something. If it's somebody on the other side, you're still going to receive something, but it's going to be like, what? I can't believe I found this, or I can't believe this was given to me. Okay, does that make sense? Whatever this is, it's going to solidify because it's the four with this choice of a gift. Does that make sense? Yeah. Uh, 
I feel like, yeah, you're being decisive, uh, trying to be decisive about it. But whatever it is that your soul needs, like, so here's the other thing. Remember, we're having to try have faith in ourselves, right? And so you have to remember that you are talented. You have to remember the things that you do have inside the, the development of these things that you have inside, right? Um, the abilities, right? And so for most of us having to like figure out, because uh, I don't see it, I feel like you're actually going to get evidence. Okay. Wendy Knight is moving for a promotion, a smarter move. Wendy, are you the same Wendy Knight? You're the same Wendy, right? Or stay where I'm doing good. Because I think I emailed you and you didn't respond. So, I can't remember. Let's see, who was the other one? I think that's everybody but those two. Wendy Knight and then the D part. The D one. I understand you wanting to prioritize your longtime supporters and I'm brand new. If you have the time and the energy, I would like to have guidance towards an issue I'm facing in my home. So, um, I will do you and Wendy and then I really have to go. But did, did I email you back? I emailed you back, right? I just want to make sure because I'm getting really busy. And for some reason, your name is coming up. Okay. Yeah, then it is you. Okay. So what's your issue very quickly? Oh, I'm sorry, Mark Hill. I knew I was missing somebody. Okay. So you want to know about being an esthetician right now, right? I didn't see it. The email, um, if you guys could put the email down for me, that would be great. It's yourpath39 at gmail. Okay. Your, so, and opening a business. Let's look at your esthetician stuff. Mm. Y'all start hearing me. So everybody that's been with me forever will hear me start humming sometimes when I'm getting into the energy. And I am sorry, Markel. Sometimes I'll like wave my fingers, sometimes I'll like hum, sometimes I just look to the side and it's there. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Eagle. I have the Hermit with this, with the Esthetician. And I have the High Priestess. What about the business? I have the Knight of Pentacles with the business, so I do see that eventually you can but I feel like there's some things that you still have to work on with this esthetician stuff and you being the high priestess I feel like you need to have faith in yourself I feel like you're going to need to put your work in that you think like I feel like you need to be your cheerleader okay so I'm feeling like you need to actually believe in yourself about doing this Right. And if you watch my other videos and what I've been talking about with Saturn and Pisces, I feel like this is part of that. Right. Yes, I'm going to school. OK. Yeah, I do. So I do feel like you can open a business eventually, but I do feel like you have to you have some more work to do with this. And I feel like you need to have more confidence in yourself about your choices that you make. OK. OK. Power struggle amongst the community members. Should I leave or should I stay Step up or down on the administration board. Okay. Whatever advice. Interesting.
what do you mean I've had what did you say what do you mean I've had the reading already oh Cindy Cross <laughs> I'm like what uh, okay so I'm still getting in your energy do Now let me in that energy. I feel like you have this stance of it's not a bad thing. It's like from what you've been through, you're used to not letting people see you, right? Like you'd love to, but that's just not the way the world works, right? That's the way I feel. But I'm going to need you to like take a breath and open up your heart because the more I can see, the more, I, the more you let me see, the more I can see. Okay. Now, these women and men that are in here are very, very strong, hold their own, have done shit and been shit and been through shit on their own. So you are in the right group. We just need you to have a little faith with us like we're having with you. Okay. So take a deep breath. Let's see what we can do for you. So in where are you at with this community? I feel like you don't get the accolades that you should. I feel like you don't get the respect that you should because you've got the page of wands. Like you are very smart. You are a doer deal right so you are somebody that will get shit done but i feel like you're not given the recognition or the respect of that right so uh can she work this out i feel like they won't even let you see how to make it better because you're so here's the deal you're feeling i mean you're around people that are very conniving and you know those people who don't really know their job, but they think they know their job. And so what little they know, they're going to hold tight to it and not give anybody else any clue. Those are the people that you're around. Does that make sense? This makes sense to you? Yeah. So the question is, should I stay or should I go? I think you're going to need to go. I have this tower. I have this tower. If it was just you. So here's the thing. You can do it where you can change this and get a new board and figure all that out. That's going to take a long time. I feel like it's going to come to a point, especially with this tower. And here's your choice. I can go with this and yes, I can change all of that, but it's going to it's going to take a lot of work. And I feel like it's probably time to, like, let that energy go. You've got other things? Let me look at this. Yeah. you got to figure out who, what you really want around you. And then I do see something. If you, if you do this, if you go this way, yeah, it's been a lot of work. It's not going to go. Like, it, you're talking about a couple of other years to be able to fix this. It's not going to happen. It's going to happen eventually if you stay, but at what cost? Like, I feel you need to make the wise decision that you kind of already know to make. You're just a little bit afraid. And so, Angelique. Yeah. So I hope that helps. Okay. Now, Cindy, I am at work, so I'll have to listen back, but I did get your email, and I'll book when I get back home. Oh, okay, no problem. I just wanted to make sure it was you. Okay. Yeah. So here's the thing. You'll have to go back and watch all my videos. Not all my videos, but like watch the videos of like when I talk about Saturn um, in Pisces. And I just did that. Um, 
a huge thank you. You're so welcome. I just did the video on September uh, astrology, and I talk a little bit about Saturn and Pisces as having us believe in ourselves, right? And so we have all of these abilities, and so we're really good at believing in others, and we're really good at not having to believe in ourselves because we kind of know, oh, I feel this. Oh, I had a dream about that. Oh, I see that, right? And so with Saturn and Pisces, he's asking us for the first time to like, believe in yourself and you're not going to be able to see the things that you should do right now. I need you to trust you, right? And so that's kind of where everybody's frustrated because they're like, I, I'm so like, I don't know, should, what should I do? I'm not getting it either way, blah, blah, blah. And so um, you're just not trusting, you're, you're having to learn to trust yourself and have faith in yourself. Okay. Thanks for your smile. Goodbye, everyone. Bye, Rodney. Thank you for joining again. See you later. I need to go over there as soon as I get some time to relax and uh, support you. So thank you. Angelique. Okay. Who else? Do, I think that was it. I really do have to go. It is getting warmer and warmer. Uh, but I do, Angelique, if you have a quick question, then I can answer it really quickly. Cindy, you already asked everybody. Wendy, is, oh, she's going back to work. So, Angelique, and then that's it. And then I got to go. <laughs> uh, and I will do my best when I do this to come on, like, early, earlier. So. But Angelique is from way back then. See, Cindy even remembers her. Yeah. I don't have time for another one, Markel. We tend to second guess ourselves sometimes. Yes, we do. But if Angelique has a question for Tarot, I would love to answer that. She has come from my old, old, like she's been watching me for a long time. And then I quit YouTube. She's one of the people that had been looking for me at some point and then stopped looking for me. And I just wanted to let her know I was back. And so she's back here. I am okay for now. Thanks, Cindy. Okay. Yes, conserve that energy. You are so welcome. So thank you so much. This was so much fun. I know you guys had really important questions, but it's nice to go in your energy and kind of see what's going on. Um, I, I do this on Saturdays. Um, on Monday, I do energy readings. So sometimes mediumship comes through. Um, not all the time, but sometimes. And by mediumship, I mean your loved ones. Because I'm always talking to the other side. I'm a life past seven, so I've got one one foot in this life, one foot in the others, right? So, um, and then on Thursdays, we discuss astrology, which is my passion, which I love. And so this weekend, I'm going to be working on editing these lives down so that you guys can see them. So look for them. Um, I did want to mention in case Aries Saves Lives sees or any of you other women, we are at... Um, I'm going to be starting a membership. It's going to be really inexpensive, but I can't start it until I get 3,000 watch time hours. I am at 2716 because of you guys. We started this just a couple of weeks ago with 2200. Now I'm at 27. I think it was 2747. Something like that. Okay. So I never stopped looking for you. Thanks for all you do for us. Oh, Angelique, thank you. That's so sweet. Um, so, Wendy, do you have a question if you want me to answer it really quickly before I go? Not not a deep, deep question, but if you have just something really quickly, I can do that before I, before I close this out. And again, about the lives, I don't do them at any particular time. I don't want to set that tone yet um, because I have people and clients all over the world that see me. So I want to make time available. I want to do a live at three in the morning where it's like five in the afternoon for them when they never get to see me. Right. So thanks, everyone, for your support for Cindy. Don't forget to hit the like button. Yes. Thank you. I bought a reading, so I'll have to book later. Oh, OK. OK. All right. All right, guys. Well, I love you, love you, love you. Thank you again for coming in. Thank you for giving your energy to this group. We are on our way to some things that we don't even know yet. <laughs> but I love you. Bye.